afternoon everybody I'm gonna be doing some really quick and simple um, cube steaks with gravy this is a semi home semi homemade meal diced with white potatoes green beans I got a pot of neck bones on the stove with seasoning salt and black pepper. I'm going to use my McCormick to season my cube steaks. And I'm going to make garlic butter biscuits. So, sit back, relax, grab a snack, and enjoy this video as I make dinner for tonight. So what I do is I take the neck bone and put it in some water and let it boil. When you let the neck bone boil, it makes the flavor of the juice that is going to cook your green beans taste good. I love onions and potatoes in my green beans, so usually I take a potato, slice it up, skin it, dice it up, put it inside my potatoes, put it in the pot. I ain't doing all that today. Quick, fast, and easy. I ain't got all day. So I got two cans of cut green beans that I'm going to put inside of the neck bones. Okay. I rinse this off with water. I don't like the water that it comes in. So take the can, open it up, rinse it off twice, and then put it in the pot. You don't need the juice from the can because that juice has no flavor. The water that is in here has no flavor. The flavor is going to be from the neck bones. So that's why I rinse them off push that down so don't cut nobody and then this is a 15 ounce can of white pot diced potatoes so this is the pot that I'm using with green beans in it and it already smells like Sunday morning y'all it already smells like that good old Sunday morning so I'm gonna use the whole can of potatoes and then I have an all-purpose mixture of seasonings that I make. So I'm just going to put my all-purpose seasonings on top of the green beans and the potatoes. And I'm going to slice up a couple of onions. I'm going to let that boil down. And then that will be done. This pot has a, a cover. So I'm going to put the cover on top of this pot. Mix everything together so that all of... The flavor juices from the bottom from the neck bone gets on these green beans and the potatoes. You want to put the potatoes at the top because you don't want the potatoes to go to the bottom initially because then they make your water starchy. You don't want starchy water. You want the water to be flavorful. So I don't mix up the potatoes in the middle at first. I leave them up top and let them soften. Let the green beans get cooked, cover them, and then later on I'll mix it up. Okay? So that's that. Next I'm going to um, wash my cube steak. <coughs> and I'm going to season my cube steak. And then I'm going to put it in the flour. And I'm going to fry it. After I fry it, then I'm going to put the onions and the peppers and put it inside the pot and let it boil up.
right? So I washed and rinsed the meat, okay? Cut it into smaller pieces. So what I'm gonna do now is some all-purpose flour, and I'm going to season the flour my meat. And then my McCormick Smoky Montreal brand here, so I gotta open it up, guys. I had some, but I used it all. I had to re up and get some more. Throw all my trash away at once. So I'm gonna season my steak, the Montreal seasoning. Okay. And that's what it'll look like. Now we season both sides of the meat because we eat both sides of the meat. Don't season one side of your meat and don't see and then not the other. Both sides of your meat need to be seasoned. I'm never gonna understand why people do that. If you eat both sides of your meat, you need to season both sides of your meat. It doesn't make any sense to season one side and not the other. I think I'm going to completely coat this meat with flour. Check my oil. See if the oil is ready. So the old school way to check your flour, I'm sorry, to check to see if your oil is hot, dip your hand in the flour. Let the flour be on the fingertips drop a couple of pieces of flour into the oil. If the flour dissolves and goes away, then that means your flour, your oil is hot enough to fry whatever meat you're gonna cook. Today we're gonna fry the cube steak. After I fry the cube steak, then I'm gonna put it in gravy and then put it on the pot of rice and that will be better. So, quick and simple. Southern dish, semi-homemade, I'm not doing everything from scratch, but it's semi-homemade. And it's going to be delicioso. Whenever you cook, take your time, take your time. Flavor your, your food in its entirety. Presentation is everything. So. 
body covered. I'm going to cook three pieces of steak at a time in my fryer. I have the Presto Pro Fryer. So it takes about two to three minutes on both sides. And then I can do the next batch. So while that is cooking, I want to check where we are green beans because now it should be ready to get stirred. Oh I can smell the net bone. It smells so good. That net bone juice baby. I tell you it's smelling like Sunday morning. Early Sunday morning. On a Thursday. <laughs> yeah. That makes it do what it do baby. Whoever marries my son, I pray she know how to cook. If she don't know how to cook, I pray she come over here and get some lessons so I can show her. Hello, darling. What's up? Cube steak for dinner tonight, baby. That's what you making? That's what I'm making, making. for y'all? Right. Well, got you got this one. Thank you. I got you this, this, this one. one. Oh, it's the same thing, but thank you. It's four dollars each, so it better work. I'll cash at you. You cash at me what? Four bucks. You gonna cash at me four dollars? Yeah. You gonna cash at you cash me four hundred dollars? <laughs> Free out of here. Y'all hear, hear my husband? He got jokes. I told him to cash at me. I told him to cash at me for $4. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you doing your video? Yeah, I'm doing a video. I just see this cute steak look like. And, uh. So, what what, what, what you conjure up? What, what came in your mind? I'm gonna do cube steak with no, gravy, no. some rice, and some green beans. And then I'm going to make garlic butter biscuits. So I had the garlic butter from Sop and Shop. It was in the door. We think I the figure it and once it threw it away. So now I gotta make my own homemade garlic butter. So you need Italian seasoning to make garlic butter. That's too hot. Too hot or too, too high? high. And you gotta mix it when you get that high. You, 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 it's the string that's already cooked. So, so, so you're, you're baking it or you're cooking it? I'm baking garlic bread. But you frying this? I'm frying the cube steak. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the cube steak in the oven. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the garlic bread. You burnt this, vision this? I've made this a million times, I just never made a video for it. Yeah, but normally, normally you bake it. If you're doing a whole cube steak, and normally you fry it on the stove when you're doing the frying. Well, I'm doing it this way because I have a fryer. So where, do you, where did this come in at? Like that's how they how they make their garlic bread, the Italian thing. No, the garlic um garlic bread is something that I've um, done before. I mean, I'll be honest with you, because the seasoning look good. I would have soaked that bad boy in some onions and some green peppers. But them seasoning that you got up there. And I would have soaked like, what? Huh? You would have soaked what with um, Those, green peppers? Them steaks? You can do green, I'm going to do green peppers and onions. So what that's you're gonna doing? Be, that's going to be for the gravy. But right now, I'm showing people how to actually season and prepare the meat. Because so, everybody don't know how to do it the same way that I do. So now I'm showing them an alternative way. There's more than one way to make cube steak with onions and peppers, which are great. The other thing is, I went to more than one store 
everybody is sold out of Dogo Cube Stick. I'm like, everybody had the same idea today? Like, everybody. Oh, the oven is already gone. It's gone. I said, now come on now. I'm trying to make some cube steak. Of course, I'm picking up a man's woman. It's something I have to see the time for me. Um, Rocco just called and said, the little birdie told him I became Bishop. He said, Why well, didn't you tell him? I said, Who's this birdie? I said, <laughs> I said, This is still circulating? Seriously? It's new news. You are the newly appointed bishop in New Haven. Yeah. And in all things, we give God thanks. But the Bible says that if a man desires the office of a bishop, he desires to do greater works. So. You had to pull it all the way to the brink. Look at that juice. You never put that much juice. Oh, but you got. Uh, it ain't that much um, juice. I had to boil the neck bones on that. Yeah. So that the neck bones could be flavored. If neck bones don't flavor the meat, the meat ain't gonna taste good. If the meat don't taste good, y'all not gonna eat it, which means it's gonna be a waste of money. Um, you don't let nobody eat your neck bones anyway. Tell, tell them that. The neck bones ain't for everybody. The neck bones for the cook. That's so that the, Karen Branch hit that spirit then. That, that's the least. Karen Branch hit that spirit. That y'all can do this is for adults. Leave me the neck bone saying that I'm cooking for y'all. Y'all don't need everything now. That and heavy. Black people want everything. You hear this? I'm cooking the food, but they want my neck bone. Why? Today I am excited to announce that I officially have a senior. My son made it to 12th grade. My other son is now in the 10th grade. grade. In eighth grade. And my other son, my baby boy, is an 8th grader. My husband is right. I do have an 8th grader. No, you got two 8th graders. Thank you, Jesus. I am so excited, elated. Got good old cube steak, y'all. Sopped up in all them good old seasonings and flavors. So, like I said, I have a fryer. It doesn't take long. I have that beautiful golden brown cube steak eats. I gotta keep y'all away from my fryer and my pot because the last time I made a video, I had y'all too close and the steam was fogging up my camera. So I would love to have y'all closer, but I gotta invest in some different type of camera in order to show y'all in a different entirety how to do what I'm doing. Alright, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of these 
mistakes inside of the flour. And then I'm going to get started on my garlic cheesy bread. Grandmama, I will be coming home from school. I will go to my big mama's house. And as soon as you come through the archway, I need you to get ready now, baby. You can smell the aromas of her food. And the closer you got to my grandmother's door, you can smell the flavors of her food. Yes, baby. What's going on? The car. All right. I'm gonna take him to um. I'm gonna take him to um. Um. KG to get a shirt and a tie. Okay. He just want a white shirt and a tie. I and mean, he can wear, like, he can wear uh, his top jacket and some pants, you know, like mix it up. A white shirt? He's going to get a white shirt okay. and a tie, whatever tie you're going to match. I need you to um, check and see if Nazir has one. You said you want to both of them to dress up this Sunday, right? It's a Sunday they're dressing up? Yeah, don't he got a white shirt? I know. I don't. I have, I may have a size for Nazir, okay. but I'm, he's too small. Right. All right. Now, if that was the case, if he, if maybe it's just a little bit bigger, I can get one of my shirts. I got, I got two white shirts. All right. But this is the Sunday you want them to dress up for Father's Day, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to look extra special for his woman. She's beautiful. And thank you, Jesus. She go to church. Hallelujah. And she want to see him smile. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing better than a young lady. I, I want to ask you, is you going to church because God is going to church for my child? Listen. If she's going to church for the child, God is there. So regardless of why she's going, he's still going to meet her there. How about that? I was a backslider when I got with you. I rededicated my life to be connected to you. But realistically, God had use for me. So even though I got connected, reconnected to the Lord, because of the fact that oh, this you belong right to here. church and all that. Yes, it is. I don't want you to ever... Fix your mouth and say, Isha, why are you drinking my raspberry? Because I bought it. That's why. No. You don't yeah. buy it in it. What the? You was touching this one back here? Which one? This one back here. No, that one is mine. No, this one back here is mine. No. I, no, 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 no. That's You're not going to take mine. You ain't going to give me a hot soda. No. This blue soda back here is mine. And that dad going sweats is mine. That dad going Fanta is mine. This orange, this, this lemonade. I got a few drinks. You want to take the little few things I got. You know what else you got? I'm going to take this one right here. You know what else you got? All right. I will wrap this thing up. Okay. And I will see you guys for part two. Peace.